Welcome to another video from inzara.com. In today's video, we will be discussing the on balance volume technical indicator. So we'll begin this video with a brief introduction into the calculation behind the technical indicator. Then we will talk about how you can use our Excel template to automatically calculate this technical indicator for any stock symbol that you're interested in, just by typing in the ticker symbol and all of this within Microsoft Excel. Now let's get started. First, the concept or the calculation. So this is one of the more simple uh, calculations that we have looked into compared to a lot of these other technical indicators that we have seen in the previous videos. So in a simple example here, let's say I have a few days of trading data and I have the closing price and I have the volume, trading volume every day uh, for that specific stock. Now the OBV or the on balance volume is calculated as Let's say we start with this date. So the first day, that is the trading volume. The second day, what is the trading volume? Uh, so what is the OBV is calculated using the, the logic that I've put in at the bottom here. If the current closing price is greater than the previous day's closing price, then I add the previous OBV to the current volume. Great. If the current closing price is less than the previous day's closing price, then I subtract the current volume from the previous OBV. And if the price is the same today and yesterday, then I just leave the previous OBV as it is. So that's the three step logic that I've implemented here. And the, the interpretation here or the impact here is that when the price changes or when the price is going up, and if the volume is higher during those days, then the OBV will go up. If the volume is greater on the price down days, then OBV will go down. The theory behind this indicator is that volume always precedes the price. So the buying and the selling pressure will precede the actual price changes. And so this indicator is trying to measure based on the volume or the trying to measure the buying and the selling pressure through the volume. And so when the price goes up, well, let's say the price keeps going up every day, then obviously this OBV will keep in increasing, right? But when the price fluctuates up and down, the pressure can be measured based on how much volume of trading happens on the down days compared to the up days. If the trading volume on the down days is greater than the trading volume on the up days, then the OBV will decrease and the opposite otherwise. So that's how the technical indicator should be interpreted to understand the market. Now let's go into our Excel template and how you can use this to calculate this technical indicator automatically. So if I go to the on balance volume, so on this sheet, you can start typing in any stock symbol on the top left here where it says Microsoft Corporation. I can go ahead and type in, let's say TSLA for Tesla, and now it'll go and pull the data for Tesla. So that's how easy and quick it is. And you can see the price, you can see the price change. Um, you will see two lines on the chart here. The blue line indicates the closing price, and then the orange line indicates the technical indicator on balance volume. And the, you know, the volume line um, here is represented again in on the primary y-axis or the vertical axis here. And then on the secondary vertical axis, we have the price information. Okay, so there's not a lot of real you know, input parameters that you can have here on this uh, technical indicator, but you can change the blue line, whether you want it to represent, for example, I can change it to represent volume. And now you can see the actual, this is actual volume of trading on every single day. Whereas the orange line is the technical indicator calculation. One thing I want to note here is that since this calculation OBV is based on the previous day's value, where you start calculating will make a difference to your absolute number. So whether it's 168 million here, maybe it'll be something different if I started my history from March 1st instead of April 1st. So depending on how far back in history you go back to start your calculation, your current value will change. And so again, I, I think it's more important whether it's going up or down and the and the magnitude or the um, 
how much it's trending up or down rather than the absolute value of the technical indicator itself. So I just want to make that point there. Um, and so maybe if you're comparing this with any other um, trading platform, the number may not exactly match because we need to figure out where they start calculating the history. And uh, we have here history going back to five years in this template. And so that's where we start calculating our OBV. I'll show you in the hidden help sheet. If you go back here, you can see we have a history back from 2016. Um, so five years of history is in this template. And so we start calculating the OBV first on April 14, 2016, and we keep adding, subtracting, depending on what's going on with the price changes. If your starting point is not April 14th, then your OBV will be slightly different. However, the, the pattern will be still, you know, pretty much comparable with what we have here. Okay, so now this is a three month history. So we can look at six month history or a year to date. So just click on this and automatically change those things. You can change it from daily to weekly to monthly, uh, depending on what time interval you want to look at the stock analysis for. So that's pretty simple. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. To wrap it up, we talked about the concept or the calculation behind on balance volume. Then we talked about the um, how you can use this template by typing in the stock symbol just it that's it and um, you can you also have control over the time period and the time interval and you can change the blue line from closing price to any of these five options and um, that is all you do and if you have the file open for a few minutes and you want to refresh the data go to data and refresh that's it so if you have not seen any of the previous videos on this topic from us, please check out the playlist. This is video number 24 of 24 different Excel templates that we have published about the stock market. And if you would like to download any of them, please go to inzara.com. We have put the links to all of these in the video description below. I'll see you all tomorrow in another video with another Excel template. And until then, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.